What's up everyone? Today we're going to be solving leak code 687. This is a problem where, this the, in this problem, they want to know how many edges, they want to know for the longest path, which is the same nodes, the number of edges. And this path may or may not be through the root. In this case, it's not through the root. In this case, it is through the root. Uh, this solution comes from the leak code solution tab. I just want to explain it a little bit more verbally. Now, we're going to use a global max counter and we're going to recursively call the given root and return the max. If the root is null, just return zero. Now, the first step is we're going to say L answer and we're going to trust that our recursive function is going to return the solution for the left subtree. Our answer recur dot root dot right. Now, now what we need to do is check if the root node that called the left and right recursive functions is equal to its left and right children, and it has to make sure that it can only call it if it's it can it can only equal its children's value if the node if the left and right nodes are not null so so what we need to work with is once we get the l answer and right answer we need to increment them by 1 which would give us the solution if we're taking the left side or the right side now int L with center with root is zero. If root dot left is not null and root dot value is equal to root dot left dot value then we L with the root is gonna be is gonna be L answer plus one same thing int R with the root if root dot right is not null and root dot value is root dot left uh, root dot right root dot right dot value is going to be r with root r answer plus one. What this basically means is, hey, am I? the same value as my left child. Okay, let me take the recursive answer I got from it and add one to it. Same thing with the right child. Now that we have this, we need to update our global max value. <clears throat> the, this is gonna be the combination of L with root and R with root. The reason we're doing this is because, for example, in this guy, right, four is gonna take the answer from his left child and his right child, and then he's gonna choose between zero and the sum of these two, which is two. So the maximum is gonna be two. The reason this is two is because this is one and this is one. This is one because on its left, when it's called recursively on the left side, we're doing this plus one and adding it to L answer, which would have came as zero because this guy's left and right child are null. And this guy's left and right child are null. But this is equal to this and this is equal to this. That's why we can increment one. And the sum of one and one is two. Now, here's the important part. What we need to do I got confused with this, but what we need to do is return the maximum 
of L with right, L with root, and R with root. The reason we do this is because we need to know which is going to give us the longest path. And that's why we can just take the maximum of that. So that's how you solve leak code 687.